We're in today with Matrox M9120. This is a PCI Express video cards. That's all I have. <laughs> no, it's got uh, 512 megabytes of VRAM. DDR2. Matrox M9120 PCI Express 16 and half a gig of DDR2. I even Google, even on Matrox website, doesn't say nothing about core speed, nothing it details about this video card. It's got two uh, DVI ports in the back. It's got no fan on on the radiator. That's it. Only I even prepared uh, an external fan just in case to blow on this uh, radiator so it doesn't heat up. But aside from that, I have nothing on this. But regardless, it. I try my best to test the system to see how it's performing and hopefully it will uh, run a couple of games. I'm going to pair it up with this uh, Intel Core 2 Extreme QX6850. We got four cores and four threads. At the moment it's on 3.3 uh, gig. So I managed to put DDR2 2 gig in the PC. Hopefully it will help in the future when I have a more powerful video card because I've seen this video card how it runs and I think yeah, I don't think this is a gaming <laughs> a gaming video card. Let's jump in a couple of games and uh, see how this video card, it's not made for gaming. All right, let's start with Underground 2. If he doesn't like Underground 2, then we're going to jump in all the titles. Considering it's a PCI Express video card, come on, man. It should be much better than an AGP video card, no? Apparently, in some cases, some video cards are not good enough, you know? So let's see how we are doing. Remember, when, I, when I'm turning around, from the wall it just lags so oh look at this 30 fps all right so let's take a look and see what the f is going on seriously so i put the cpu on 3.3 remember that last time i had 2.3 on this on the frequency on the cpu i got uh, system ram 700 uh, megabytes of system ram used i now have ddr2 so yeah, maybe it's uh, it's complaining about that, but I'm 100%, there is no problem there. And that's it, I can't see nothing. There is no features in, in this uh, MS Afterburner because it's not detected. It doesn't show any sensor from this Matrox. Can't do nothing about it, you know? I went uh, and installed everything from Matrox. I managed to find some drivers there. I try alternative drivers. I try a couple of things, but that's it. On the video card itself, I got 800 by 600, which this is low details, not minimal. Even if I put it on minimal, 30, 40 FPS. How about, you know, no, because it's about resolution. Okay, poor resolution, 640, 30 FPS. Can explain to me why is it like this? Is the GPU or the CPU? I mean, the CPU can do the job, no? What do you think? 3.3, quite extreme, you know, underground too. What I think it's the video card itself. All right, let's test uh, flat out and see how the game is performing with this video card. <laughs> I look, at, I look at the MS and I see 50 MS. It's, it's crazy, seriously. Okay, so it's on 800 by 600 and uh, 16 bits. This is the only thing I can. Uh... All right, let's test flat out and see how it's working with 800 by 600, uh, 16 bits or something. If I'm not mistaken, in some games apparently the VRAM is showing. That's actually good. And hopefully I get uh, more games to show that uh, VRAM. Uh, let's see, 23 FPS. I think after I pass them all, I will get more FPS, but uh, there is no lower resolution than this. Just take the corner properly. Don't push them. Don't interact with them. Just, oh, yo, the lag is real. All right, all right. I managed to pass the, the hardest part, you know? Now, the only thing I have to do is just maintain the road and uh, don't crash into nothing. It's working. In some situation, the game is actually good. You know, in some situation, it's actually worse. The moment I drive around some cars, just lags. At this point, you can actually see that the video card is using 67 megabytes of VRAM. 67 from half a gig, you know. Uh, not funny. <laughs> you know, what's the point of having half a gig of VRAM if you cannot use it. I'm guessing because the core is bad. I don't know. The core is not made for gaming. It's a Matrox video card. They are not known to be good for gaming, you know? I'm not gonna blame the whole system. I can't wait to put uh, better GPUs to see if the system is actually capable of uh, running better. I'm having trouble justifying this CPU in this computer because in the future I want to make um, a newer operating system with LGA 775, you know? 
test or the video cards in that computer and in the future i can't find any good use for this cpu maybe i'll take it out and find a single core cpu for this uh, computer i don't know if it's if it's not worth keeping this cpu here it, i'm not gonna keep it here i will find another quad core that is better for this uh, system harry potter and the chambers of secrets now hear me out this is the only game that i see it run at 60 fps and using 200 and nearly 40 uh, uh, megabytes of vram in this situation i really have the opportunity to see this video card working oh no this is it it's very fluent good ms i think this is the game that was designed for look at this all right this is kind of fantastic 60 fps very constant very fluent it's using 200 and nearly 40 megabytes of vram and i'm so happy to because of this it's so fun to play with this okay apparently the vram it's loading up in from the gpu you know it's kind of cool to see this uh, GPU doing something properly <laughs> kind of cool to see a proper game use, utilizing the, the system correctly here no oh, very happy that the game managed to do the job with uh, with the system core uh, the core on the GPU it's uh, I don't know I think uh, the, the game itself managed to utilize the video card properly you know in this case the VRAM was used uh getting 60 fps maybe got some help from the cpu because uh, now on 3.3 it's actually doing a fantastic job you know the quad core if you're asking is there any any game for this uh, video card yeah there is but you have to look for them <laughs> so this game harry potter and chambers of secret it's actually running uh, with the smart rocks all right let's see how the hellgate london is working i have uh, 1024 with directx 9 and low details i want to see if it's loading the vram or the cpu um, i forgot this the cpu 100 percent on the core i mean i think it needs a single core 5 gig let's see if i put them 1280 on the GPU. Let's try to max out the GPU. Very high. DirectX. All right, let's. Maybe I have to push the limit on the GPU. See? 22 FPS. The GPU is. Oh my god, it's lagging like hell. I put everything on. Almost everything on uh, high detail. Yeah? At least if it's lagging, let, let the CPU lag. Apparently, it's not okay to make the gpu bottleneck all right so 40 fps apparently i got 20 ms that's the at least it's much better like this you know on the gpu side i'm very disappointed because you know it's not a proper video card yes in some situation is dropping to 30 fps yeah if i had an average i think it would have been kind of horrible if it's for retro gaming i think it will be okay if you're not pushing for something like a very intensive direct trade game then uh, yeah, you can actually have a lot of, uh, how should I say, you can use this video card too for uh, older games. I wanted to see some direct trade games because, you know, it's PCI Express and it's got half a gig of VRAM, you know, and I thought the core will push uh, some load on this GPU and it will use the VRAM, but apparently not. It's I think it's for just browsing or something. Let's see how Half-Life is working with uh, the system it's uh, it's gonna be very interesting because it's on 800 by 600 but out of the bat you can actually see it's only using one core and i don't like it i wish it was more uh, demanding on that cpu seriously on the gpu side 16 megabytes of iran not that great with the gpu i was expecting it to utilize it more but uh, it doesn't matter watch cookies okay so it's working but it's on the cpu today apparently it's not okay to it's not okay to uh, to see the cpu lagging i mean it's not lagging you know barely utilizing the cpu but uh, i want uh, more from this uh, system itself it's about to go critical can i abandon i want to go back to the train seriously it's broken i don't want to go inside yeah your missions everything i'm out i'm not just sitting here in laboratory sh laboratory one of those days you know when you say you know what i seen the computer explode i know what's going to happen you know what f your experiment and f everything here yeah have a nice day sir i changed my mind you know i want to go home i don't want to get you know what have a good day f off
Please open the door. <laughs> I don't wanna go in the basement. It's good to see you. No, it's not good. Cough. Open the door, please. Half-Life 2, apparently it's actually using the system. Just like everybody else. I'm not gonna lie, this is very interesting to see how the game is performing. It's like, this is kind of cool to see Half-Life 2 working much better than the uh, the previous one, the Half-Life 1, you know? It's got nice MS, 50 megabytes of uh, VRAM use, 80 FPS. Maybe you can lock it on 60 FPS and um, mind your own business. Even the CPU is doing the job. Even though it's using the second core more, you know, it's more intensive. But it doesn't matter. It's it's kind of cool to see this working. Maybe you can actually clean this place. It looks like a whole mess. Seriously. <gasps> okay, so outside is lagging. 27 FPS, 30 FPS. This is horrible. I'm not joking, but uh, it, it doesn't look good, you know. It's reaching 100 megabytes of VRAM in this uh, situation, and uh, yeah, it's not okay. You can actually see the, the VRAM being loaded, you know. But I'm very disappointed, still only one core is utilized, and the rest of them, they are barely, barely used. Happy that the VRAM is starting to be used, but uh, in this situation, I can actually see one gig of system RAM being uh, utilized. Let's see how uh, Quick3 is running on this uh, setup. I'm thinking on it's going to be quite interesting. 1024, 16 bits, everything is on maximum details. Let's put it even higher. Maximum details, apparently 1024 is uh, the, right, the right settings for this. Tell me that I can play this game on, uh, on this potato system, seriously. I'm not gonna lie, this is exactly what I want from my system, barely using barely using any system RAM in this situation, 600, actually 600 is kind of good for this. Yes, I want the whole lead. It's so tight and, and hard to actually fight here, but uh, it's very entertaining, you know. The CPU is doing a job, barely using any system RAM in this. Damn, Daniel. The whole point on this GPU was to benefit from that VRAM, but apparently I couldn't have it, you know. So in this situation with Quake, it's just the CPU itself, you know, in 30 megabytes of VRAM, that's not a lot. Well, apparently Sirius M is doing the same thing like he's doing in Quake, barely using the, the VRAM, you know, like 46 FPS on 1024 with custom. It looks and it runs okay with hundreds of FPS. I think that if Quake was unlocked, it would have been the same thing like here giving this uh, hardware some uh, nice uh, old games apparently allows it to be still being used and not uh, end up in recycling center you know because uh, let's face it if you have no inclination on actually restoring a computer like this it will end up in a recycling center and i can guarantee you there's a lot of people who will uh, do that like uh, every single game apparently barely using uh, any any other core from it, you know, this is a quad core CPU and it's only utilizing the second core and it's kind of trippy, you know, it's using like 10, 20% from each core, but that's it. It doesn't, it doesn't want to use it all the way. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This Matrox is not the uh, brightest video card from the block, you know, it's not the best video card from, from the box. It's not the best video card that I can recommend for retro gaming, but I did manage to pass through it and I did want to see how it's performing. You know, it's a very weird name. It's a very weird performance and it's weird overall. Hopefully the computer didn't have any problems. So this CPU can actually do the job. Now I put DDR2 in the, in the PC, the CPU is on 3.3. Maybe in the future I can find a proper video card that I can actually benefit from this. Who knows? Regardless, the Matrox, it's, uh, it's a very weird video card and I can't complain or uh, recommend this video card. Aside from a server, I don't know. I think this is the only place this video card had, uh, had a place. I got it from a broken server and I put it on to Recycle Center. And I thought, you know what, maybe the GPU will be okay with it. You know, but yeah apparently not regardless leave a comment and uh, hopefully i will uh, see you very soon